What up, America? It's your boy, Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kid Thunder, back again with another video. Uh, apparently, I don't know about you guys, but I've done a rant, I mean, I've done a video talking about what if the Electoral College was abolished, uh, like, a while back. So, here we have now is Focahontas want to talk about getting rid of the Electoral College and all that kind of stuff. You know, because she want to assume that Democrat, Democrats don't always win. Um, on that, on that behalf. I mean, let me say this right here. I said that I said this in the same rant. I mean, the same video talking about if if God forbid the electoral college gets abolished. You know, I'm gonna say it like this. You know, if America were to have you know go by elections that goes by the popular vote, this is what's going to happen. And people are people should know this by now. Because because uh it's gonna it's gonna I mean here, here's what's gonna happen. New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco pretty much the majority of of all those cities in California uh, which obviously are very populated areas I mean those are those major cities are obviously going to determine who will be uh, who will end up being you know, president every single time. And guess what? Each one of those major cities are run by Democrats. I mean, the thing is, is this. Now, Miss Miss Focahontas want to say that, uh, that Democrats don't go to places like Mississippi or anywhere in the South, you know, to supposedly campaign. I mean, I mean, I don't know, I don't know that for sure. I don't know if that's true or not, but I digress, you know, because one of the, last time I checked, one of the counties in Alabama, you know, ended up ended up becoming democratic. I mean, so I thought. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh I don't I don't you know, it'll be unfair. And I said this in my I said this in my video talking about what if the electoral college gets uh, abolished because clearly clearly everybody has a voice not just people in very in in well populated areas you know because I will say this there's you know there are not there are not so populated areas which obviously are controlled by Republicans, you know, they got a voice too. And if, and if their voices doesn't get heard, I mean, for any election, then next thing you know, you know, each time a Democrat will win 
by the popular vote, which will be determined by New York, Chicago, and L.A., and, I mean, pre pretty much all of California. Ah. We're literally setting ourselves up. I mean, the thing is, is this, America. Many of you already know, unless if you're a toe-tag liberal or a vile leftist out there, many of you already know that we are a constitutional republic. You know, we are not a democracy. You know, I mean, re recite the Pledge of Allegiance. You will notice that uh, in the Pledge of Allegiance, it will say these words verbatim. And to the republic for which it stands. You know, remember that one line in the, uh, in the Pledge of Allegiance. But this day and age, liberals don't care. Liberals are, you know, too too involved in their self-righteous prattle. As I say it time and time again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Focahontas. America, America will never get rid of the Electoral College. I mean, as simple as that. You know, we were, we were never, we would never become a democracy, you know. And if we also look at it, <laughs> knowing Democrats now, which are obviously heading towards the socialist and communist direction. I'm sorry, but I gotta I gotta side with Trump. We would America would never be a socialist country. You want you want socialism? Go to that shithole called Venezuela. I mean, where you I mean you have you can't even wipe wipe your you know, find toilet paper to wipe your butt with. Straight up. I mean... Guys, what are, you, what are your thoughts and comments on this? I'm Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kit Thunder. I'm signing off. Please share this video.